Hello everybody, it's Mr. HD here. We're here again with Just For Kicks. I hope you guys had a good week. It being, of course, Sunday, or supposed to be Sunday. But let's not waste any time and get right into it. Uh, this car I was just going to build normally. It, of course, is the Fast and Furious version of the Mark IV Supra. And I was going to just build it normally, because a lot of people are doing these max power builds. But I thought, you know what? With all the people on YouTube doing the max power builds, I bet yeah, I can probably do it the best. Or do it good. You know, make it as good of a drift car as I can. So what I did was, I dropped 1200 horsepower on this car because I'm dumb. Uh, sport tires still, no race tires, no positive camber, no bullshit. Still, rear wheel drive, power to the back. And this car, oh my good lord. <laughs> it A handful would be an understatement. This car weighs like 2600 pounds and 1200 horsepower. It's just silly uh it, it really takes some mentally some getting used to when to, to figure out that you have that much power behind you and you're like sitting there like oh i'm just gonna dump the clutch in second gear coming out of this corner nope you're gonna fucking loop around like a beyblade man um so i had to do something i've never done with this car before and that's tune arrow uh normally if i have forza arrow or some sort of adjustable aerodynamics i just tune it all the way to speed just because i'm it's on just for looks but uh no I actually added some downforce uh, with this car because that APR wing in the back is tunable. Um, but I added some downforce and it helped a lot actually, especially here on Circuit of the Americas. Uh, you, that, this isn't that tune, the video that you're seeing, but the tune that is uploaded uh, to the share front or to the whatever you guys want to call it, the tune that is shared uh, does have those aerodynamic tweaks. Uh, it, you're, it feels weird saying aero. <laughs> um, but yeah, this car, super, super, super good. Uh, I just lost it there. When you're on, like, between third and fourth gear, like, coming coming out of the hairpin, coming up at the end of the straight, this car is where it shines. You know, fourth gear, uh, just mad it, uh, you know, just put balls to the wall. Uh, but anywhere where you need any sort of throttle control or, like, uh, but that's low speed, like, if hit corners like this hairpin, you're dead. You're dead every time. Um, you gotta be super, super careful. It's such a fine line of I can just mat it and do what I want, like, from here onward, uh, through these sh chicanes. And if we had Suzuka, it'd be the same thing at Suzuka. Um, but then you get into the na little bit narrower bit, and you're like, oh shit, oh no, oh no, oh shit, oh shit, oh no, oh no, oh shit. Um, it's very, very difficult and easy to drive in the same breath. Uh, there really isn't any throttle control, at least for me, because once I kick the clutch, it just boots it right up to high revs. Um, yeah, I passed this guy, and he got pretty... I'm, I'm driving a 1200 horsepower Super, so I just wanted to get in front of him and out of his way, and then he got pretty salty right here and just put me into the wall. Um, but yeah, like, when you're at high speeds, it's fine. Actually, the gearing is very weird. The engine's really weird in this car. Um... As soon as you're above 6,000 uh, RPMs, so long as you're vaguely in the right gear, the thing just redlines. That's it. It just is. It redlines, and it, that's where it stays. It doesn't bounce off the red line. It doesn't uh, doesn't uh, you know work up to it. It's just beep. That's it. And you're redlined until you shift. And then if you kick the clutch as you shift, coming into fourth, let's say. It redlines again, and you're basically spending 95% of your time uh, with this car on redline, which kind of gets annoying after a while, um, just to hear beep, over and over and over again. Um, but you know, for, for an every once in a while car, this car is fun. You know, it is stable once you get it to like a certain speed, you know, above 60, 70 miles an hour. It is hell on wheels if you're going any slower than that, but you know, um, I'm gonna say try it just just for fun, but you know it's not for the faint of heart unless you guys have a lot of experience driving cars with a lot of horsepower. Uh, just yeah, we're going into the tune here. See, I have like almost the tire rear tires are, like almost flat. The gears are more speedy than I normally have them. Um, I even tried adding a little bit of uh, ride height to the front of this car uh, just to see if that makes it handle better, a little bit more squat, and it does. It, may, it does make it handle a little bit better. You see, you have a little bit more downforce. You can even have it a little bit more if you want to. I just wanted the car to still be able to do 250. But thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I also have a Facebook and a Twitter. For those links, be sure to check out the description box below.